This video lesson is on utility maximization. Both bagels and toy cars will be used in this example. As consumers buy the first to the sixth quantities of bagels and toy cars, their marginal utility decreases. As consumers buy the first to the sixth quantities of bagels and toy cars, their total utility increases to a total of 33 utils for each good. If you have an income constraint of $11, how many bagels and toy cars can you buy to maximize your utility if bagels are $2 and toy cars are $1? If you purchase the first quantity of each good, a total of $3 will be spent and you will have $8 left to spend. If you purchase the second quantity of each good, an additional $3 will be spent, and you have $5 left to spend. If you purchase the third quantity of each good, an additional $3 will be spent, and you have $2 left to spend. You can purchase the fourth bagel at $2, and you now have $0 left to spend. You purchased a total of four bagels and three toy cars with that $11. That is a total of seven items. You purchased four bagels at $8 and three toy cars at $3. You purchased a total of seven items, but did you maximize your utility? The answer is no, and here is why. Let's go back to $2 as your income constraint, and you already purchased three bagels and three toy cars. You can purchase the fourth toy car at $1, and you now have $1 left to spend. You can purchase the fifth toy car at $1, and you now have $0 left to spend. You purchased a total of three bagels and five toy cars, with that $11. That is a total of eight items. A total of eight items equals utility maximization. You purchased three bagels at $6 and five toy cars at $5. You purchased a total of eight items and you maximized your utility. Why? To maximize your utility, you want to purchase the greatest combination of goods possible. You left the store with eight items instead of seven. So utility maximization was reached with eight items.